A cargo cult is a Melanesian millenarian movement encompassing a diverse range of practices and occurring in the wake of contact with the commercial networks of colonizing societies. The name derives from the belief that various ritualistic acts will lead to a bestowing of material wealth. Cargo Cargo cults often develop during a combination of crises, under conditions of social stress. Such a movement may form under the leadership of a charismatic figure. This leader may have a vision, or myth dream, of the future, often linked to an ancestral efficacy. Mana, thought to be recoverable by a return to traditional morality. This leader may characterize the present state, often imposed by colonial capitalist regimes as a dismantling of the old social order meaning that social hierarchy and ego boundaries have been broken down. Contact with colonizing groups brought about a considerable transformation in the way indigenous peoples of Melanesia have thought about other societies. Early theories of cargo cults began from the assumption that practitioners simply failed to understand technology, colonization, or capitalist reform. In this model, Cargo cults are a misunderstanding of the trade networks involved in resource distribution and an attempt to acquire such goods in the wake of interrupted trade. However, many of these practitioners actually focus on the importance of sustaining and creating new social relationships, with material relations being secondary. Since the late 20th century, alternative theories have arisen. For example, some scholars, such as Kaplan and Lindstrom, focus on Europeans' characterization of these movements as a fascination with manufactured goods and what such a focus says about Western commodity fetishism. Others point to the need to see each movement as reflecting the particularized historical context, even eschewing the term, cargo cult, for them unless there is an attempt to elicit an exchange relationship from Europeans.